All right, what's up, Smashers? Guess what we're gonna be doing? Talking about cracking, snapping. Easy. By the way, that's June. That's Terry. I think they're lifting like 150 pound kettlebell. It's awful. Whatever it is, it's really heavy. It's yeah, and they're they're doing a thousand reps. I think is what they said. Listen, what we're gonna be talking about is is knee pain, but more importantly. The fact that your knees are snapping and popping. So if you ever get up and the knees make this popping sound, what we're going to do is we're going to undo that, that popping, snapping knees because what it's from is usually a tissue restriction. So if you spend your day, look at this, I'm a soaking hot, wet mess. So if you spend your day seated or those knees are engaged in flexion, what ends up happening is the tissue gets restricted. All that connective tissue starts to bind up. Remember, the patella is this big sesamoid bone. So it's big bone and it's pancaked inside the, uh, the patellar tendon, it wraps around that quadriceps tendon, wraps around it basically, attaches on the tibial tuberosity. I'm gonna get out of the way just so I don't get anyone's way. They're all doing a, a warm up right now. So what happens is the, uh, the tibial tuberosity gets strained. That's number one. I'm putting a kettlebell up here so I can sit over here and do this. That's number one. And number two, if we look at it, I know I'm getting a glare and you guys are probably all irritated, but and number two is the entire quadriceps complex. So. The vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, the rectus femoris, the, all that stuff gets all pasted down, but there has to be this uneven slide. So what happens is the muscles slide past themselves at different rates. So if they don't have the ability to slide past each other, they get bound up. And that's what happens when they're stationary. It's like when you sit on an airplane. Oh, there we go, I block, the, uh, I block the glare with my shiny dome. But what happens is, if, uh, if you sit on an airplane for a long period of time, when I say long period of time, longer than two minutes. Remember, it takes two minutes to change viscoelastic properties of tissue. So if you sit on, if you sit for a long time, desk, airplane, car, commute, you know, at bottom of a squat, doesn't really matter. Tissue changes, and the sliding surfaces change as well. So now the knee doesn't work properly. The hip can't torque out properly. So I'm going to show you to clear all that up. We're going to roll out some of that tissue. I'm going to show you to clean up all the stuff on either side of the knee because you can't just hit the quad side. You have to hit the hamstring side too. So there's four things we're going to do to unload the snapping knee. So if your knees pop and snap, here's the cure. Let's see. Oh, I want to show you the ceiling. So when I show you the ceiling, look at this. this look at that. Bad shit, crazy people after a workout we just did. So number one is we're going to take a roll. You should have seen that. That was that was like a trick shot with a foam roller. You missed it, but it was pretty cool. So you want to hit, remember what I said, rolling out the IT band is completely useless. So we want to hit that vastus lateralis, not right on the IT, because if you start mashing away in that IT, that's trying to loosen up your shin, and it doesn't work. You can't get a bone to be flexible. Same thing with the IT. If you can get your IT to be loose, show me, because I'm going to call bullshit on that. So what you do is you get on the vastus lateralis, so it's just above where that IT band is, and you're just gonna peel away on that. So the first thing we wanna do is you wanna find that spot, post out with the leg on front, and I want you to roll forward. So foam roll, PVC pipe, go to Costco, or uh, Home Depot, whatever you need, and now you're just gonna grind away. Oh man, that's miserable. And just peel away on the anterior portion of that vastus lateralis, and go all the way down to the knee. Get right above where the patella is, just stay off the patella. That's number one. Do at least two minutes of work and go the entire length of the muscle. Oh, that's misery. That is some wicked misery. All right, number two is we're gonna hit the couch stretch because we're gonna unload the quad. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. I like using the wall. Why? Because it's easy. So much fun, this stuff. And I know you guys have seen this, but this is a good combo to do to kind of clean up the knees and keep them from snapping. And there's going to be a bonus, and that's how to adjust your knee. So kick the leg up all the way. Make sure the shin is parallel to the wall, perpendicular to the floor. If you're having a hard time with the word perpendicular, ask a third grader. They'll help you. So we want to take this. I got fuzz and tape and all kinds of shit on me today. So you can see, so I've got good flexibility in my quad, but if you can't get here and you have to sit here, that's fine. What I want you to do is to squeeze your glute, push the hip open, and let that hit that uh, the, uh, rectus femoris. Remember, it comes from the AIS, crosses the knee, goes all the way to that tibial tuberosity. Just crank in this position, hold it for how long? Two minutes, same thing on the other side. All right, here's the part everybody's missing. It's not just the front side of the knee, it's also the back side. So if we check this out, we're gonna do, it's called the high rig kick up. 
as I drip sweat everywhere. So find the rig, get on the side of the rig, kick the leg up all the way. So you can see my glute is all the way against the rig. My low back, I want you to hollow out. So smash the low back into the floor, lock the knee out, foot dorsiflex, take this leg, kick it all the way out, hang out this, this position for how long? Two minutes. That's number three. And number four is a goblet. So we'll go right here. And you can hang out in a really basic position. So take a, uh, take a plate. Go ahead, you can get out of the way, no problem. I'm just taking up space, kicking everyone out of the way. How do we do this? So I'm not in everyone's way. There's some big jackass. So grab the plate, bring it out front. I want your toes straight. Pull this out in front of you and hang out in this position for how long? Yeah, two minutes. So ideally, you can see my feet are straight, so I'll do it in front of you. Toes straight, plate out front, hang out like you're driving a bus. I can bring this down to the zero straight. Hang out in this position for how long? Two. And that's it. That's how you get rid of those snapping, popping knees. And that's how you fix everything. Now, I told you there was a bonus. I'm gonna show you how to adjust your knee. Oh yeah, you didn't think I was gonna show you this secret, did you? Check this out, this is so awesome. Looking for a PVC. You can do this with just about anything. Ideally, PVC is probably about the best thing you can use. So check this. Peep this one out. Take the PVC pipe, tuck it in. Straighten out the leg, take the PVC pipe, tuck it in underneath, behind the knee, real high. Find that, it's like a lever, and then you're just gonna give it a push. Click. That fulcrum's the knee over the PVC, gaps the joint a little bit, you get a little sonic boom, and call it a day. Hasta la pasta, cracking knees, and you fix your knee mechanics. Hey, listen, I'm Trev, Smashworks, Labor Day. I will check you guys out tomorrow. Peace.